Hi everybody, what's up? Welcome to Open More Toys. Today I have a special episode. We're gonna make a Disney Frozen sugar cookie castle. Since it's the holidays and Christmas is right around the corner, I thought it would be cool if we could all learn how to make this so when we have friends or family over, uh, we have a cool little centerpiece. And it's pretty easy to make. And who doesn't love the movie Frozen? Now, I think I picked this castle up at Toys R Us, actually, in their Christmas section. So, it seemed like something that almost pretty much any kid could do. I Probably if you're like five or six, as long as you have an adult help. And it comes with almost everything you need, but you will need a little bit of water, and you will need some powdered sugar, and some other things like a cutting board or a tray to display this stuff on, but that's not, that's optional. Um, with a lot of things in here, so we'll go ahead and open this up and see what's inside the box. So I can't wait to make this, and I'm going to have it out for my friends and family, and I'm probably going to have like cookies around it or other sweets. It's going to be pretty cool. And also, I just remind you, don't forget to check out the, uh, my other videos where we open more toys. And I think later this week I'm going to have a giant egg with Olaf on it. If you think that's a good idea, then write Olaf in the comments. So here's our stuff inside the box, and right here is our sugar cookie castle pieces. And we're going to open that right up and take them out, and they're the walls of our castle. And here are the instructions on how to make our castle, our sugar cookie castle kit. And you really want to make sure you read all the instructions before you start because there seems to be like little tricks where you might miss a step if you just went ahead and did something and it might tell you the proper way to do it. Well, I read all the instructions, so we're just gonna go ahead and start making our stuff. Here's our powdered sugar that's required. I have some water. And what we're gonna need is a giant mixing bowl for all of this. very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make our icing. So they give us a little package here and it's kind of our base for our icing. I think it's kind of like the vanilla flavoring as well as what probably makes the icing hard. And then we're going to add the amount of water that it asked for in the instructions. Uh, it equals about two tablespoons and one half teaspoon. And the trick when working with powdered sugar to make like an icing or a frosting is not to use too much water. It may not seem like a lot of water here, but if you use a lot, it'll be really, really runny and it won't dry properly. You can always add more, but you can't take the water out. So we want to make sure to whisk this really good. I'm just going to use a plastic spoon and once it's all mixed together really well and get all the chunks out, we go ahead and add all of our powdered sugar. And once the powdered sugar is in the bowl, we just gotta stir really well for a little while. Probably like a minute until it's nice and smooth and all the chunks are out and all the powdered sugar is nice and wet and it looks like icing. So here's our frosting, it is nice and smooth, and now we're gonna have to add the blue coloring to it. So it gives us a little package here of blue coloring, and we're not gonna add the whole thing, we're just gonna add a little bit. We're gonna stir it in, make it a nice light blue color, because we're gonna need more of that blue coloring for later. So let's just mix all of the blue in until we get the right color that we're looking for. And here's our blue frosting. And this is what's gonna be the majority of the icing on our cookie castle. It's gonna be the background base color. So we're gonna lay all our cookie pieces nice and flat and get them ready. And we're gonna go ahead and frost them with our new blue icing.
So again, a little bit goes a long way. So we'll start with one spoonful of our frosting or icing, I should say. And I'm using a spoon. I'm a little messy with it, but you have like you can use like a spatula or like a icing spreader for cakes. If you have that available, you can go ahead and use that. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a spoon. I probably have like little lines, and it won't be that flat, but it's all right. With the spoon, you just want to go to almost all the edges. You don't want to go over the edges. It'll start to get really sticky and it'll start running off. But go close to the edges and make sure it's all on there. And then spread it out evenly as best as you can. After you have the icing spread out, you're just going to leave it there and then you're going to ice the rest of the pieces. So we have all our pieces full of the blue icing. So and then what we're going to do right now is once you're done with that is let these dry. Let them dry for about 30 to 40 minutes until the icing is pretty firm. Because now, because after that, we're gonna have to go decorate it. And if it's still wet, it's gonna get everywhere. And we're gonna go ahead and so put some plastic wrap over our remaining icing, because we're gonna go ahead and use that later for the next step while it's drying. So here it is, all dried out, and we're gonna go ahead and decorate it. We have a little stencil kit that came with the box, and it's pretty easy to use. We just put the stencil right over our little walls. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab our icing. And the set comes with a little paintbrush and you wanna get a lot of icing right on the paintbrush and you wanna spread it in the openings of the stencil. And what this is gonna do is create a wet area for our blue sugar crystals to stick on. So get all the stencil area filled in first. So once we have wet icing in all our stencil spots, we're just going to go ahead and pour blue sugar crystals right over all the spots there and then we'll just go ahead and like lightly tap the blue sugar right on top to make sure it's nice and pressed in there. And that's going to give us a nice decoration on our cookie castle walls. So we're going to repeat these same steps with all the other pieces of the walls and then we'll move on to the next step as soon as you finish that. So our walls are complete and then I'm going to take the icing bag. This is the frosting actually and we're going to go ahead and knead it and you know press it with our hands. We want to do that for roughly about a minute to get it all sort of mixed up in the bag and we're going to take a glass cup and what is our frosting piping bag and we're going to go ahead and put that over the cup and make a little pocket area so we can go ahead and put that frosting from one bag into this bag so we can easily decorate our castle.
now we have our frosting in our piping bag and we're gonna have like a little sharp tip on the end sort of and we're gonna cut a small piece of it off and that's where the frosting is gonna come out we don't want we can always go bigger so don't cut too much off otherwise you're gonna have too big of a hole and then the frosting is not gonna be really easy to decorate so here's a really small hole for the frosting to come out sort of like a, like a pen almost there we are and this is gonna make us decorate our castle pieces frosting and go around all the spots where we have the blue sugar crystals. So we're kind of sort of make like a, a border for everything. And we're going to try to rush this just a little bit because we don't want the icing to dry out and we're going to do one piece at a time. So our frosting here will still be wet for our next step. But it actually seems like the frosting is not going to dry as quick as I thought it was. So we can go ahead and decorate all the pieces as long as you do it quickly before we move on to the next step. And then we can stick our little snowflakes on. have our bag of our little sugar snowflakes and the frosting is still sort of wet so we're just gonna go ahead and stick them right into the frosting and the, on the little points of our little castle pieces. did all our little snowflakes and we still have frosting left over and now we're going to go ahead and decorate and draw the outlines on the castle sort of like the towers and everything like that So it's looking more and more like a castle now. Uh, I couldn't tell exactly what it was going to be after making it with the stencil, but now with the frosting on there and making all our shapes, it's definitely coming out and looking like a castle. So we have all our sugar cookie pieces done. We have our remaining blue frosting, and now we need to make it even bluer. So we're going to grab our remaining blue sugar, and again, not all of it, but we're going to add a good amount of it and make it a darker blue. mixed and we're gonna have this dark blue frosting and put it on our paintbrush again and now this is gonna make uh, our windows we're gonna draw we're just gonna put little lines into the into the areas here in our castle and make like little like windows for people to look out of
we're almost done. So now we have our display board and we're going to fill in this area with our frosting again. We're gonna use a lot of frosting, not all of it, close to it though. There's a lot of frosting inside here and this is gonna really help hold up the castle walls so they don't fall over. And then we're going to take our side walls and on the sides, the short sides, we're going to go ahead and add the icing there and on the other side as well and this is going to hold the big walls up. So you place this piece right in first and then we'll go ahead and grab, hold that up and grab a big wall piece and we'll stick that into the slot too and they'll kind of start holding each other up now. Makes it really easy. And we have another hand free and we can get our other small wall piece and put icing on the sides again so we can put up the other two walls. So now we're almost done. We have it all drawn out. The walls are all up and they're gonna stay up, hopefully. And uh, we have our little cutout pieces, which are awesome with this set. I'm gonna go ahead and keep these even after this and I could probably put it on top of like a birthday cake or something for my kids. And there's a, a little board in here and display stands for all the characters. So our first display stand, we'll go ahead and put Elsa on it. And then we have to do her little sister, Anna. And then we have Sven and Kristoff. And last but not least, we have Olaf. So, there's our pieces all together and there's a little uh, cardboard cutout and this is sort of the roof for our castle there. So there's actually an area in there and you probably fill it with cookie and candy and things like that. And, or you can put it on top of the castle. It's all complete. It looks pretty great. I think on our little cookie table for the holidays on Christmas, kids are gonna love this. Well, it took a little while to make this, but it was pretty fun. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down below. Thanks for watching Open Water Toys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. And if you haven't already, click right here to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. All right, see you next time on OMT.